So in this quick whiteboard session, we're going to address port scanning. Now, port scanning can be performed against TCP and UDP ports. So identifying open ports on a target system is a stage that a bad actor has to carry out when understanding and defining the tax service of the target. Now, these open ports correspond to network services running on a system, and it really is something you want to protect your network against. To test what is open on your network, so we have the process of port scanning, and this can be easily carried out with a tool called Scapy. Let's get into some basic first. Well, port numbers belong to the transport layer of the OSI model. Now, this is layer four of the OSI model. So TCP and UDP ports are defined in either layer four of the OSI model or layer three of the TCP IP model, but both of these are defined as the transport layer. Then we have the OSI layer 5, and this is a session layer that uses ports defined in layer 4 to create sockets and sessions. So the penetration testing technique used to enumerate these services is called port scanning. So keep in mind we also have the network layer, and here we can have ICMP, Internet Control Meshing Protocol, which also can be used to carry out ping sweeps. So we can have both port scans and also ping sweeps. So we know that ping is a tool to find the status of a host on a network and ping is based on the ICMP protocol. So when a host initiates the ping process, our request is sent out as an ICMP echo to the target host and the target host replies with an ICMP echo reply. Now keep this process in mind of the ICMP echo and the ICMP reply. Now a ping sweep can be performed for both good and bad purposes. And this is a technique that can be used to find out which hosts are alive in a network for a defined IP range. Now a standard attack I've come across quite a bit is an ICMP based attacks. And here we could have, for example, an ICMP flood attack. So Internet Control Meshing Protocol flood attack is all but too common distributed denial of service attack where a bad actor tries to overwhelm a service or even a network device with ICMP pings or echo request packets. And this can be easily done and multiple tools are available for ping sweeps. And you can even develop your own tool with a small script. So as we move further up the stack, we also have port scans. But first, let us explore what a port is. So when applications use TCP and UDP to communicate over a network, each of these applications must be uniquely identified by a unique port number on that system. So an application or a process uses a port number as an identifier for that application or process running on that system. So when you send data from one computer to another, you send data to the port number used by that application. And you can imagine we have lots of port numbers and different types of ports. For example, we have 65,535 TCP ports and another 65,535 UDP ports. So remember that there are different categories and ranges and some of these will be reserved, for example, port 80. So a port scan is a process that sends client requests to a range of server port addresses on a target host. And the aim of this is to look for active ports and exploit a known vulnerability of that service. So we have TCP port scanning. So a TCP port scan is the most basic form of TCP scanning. So port scanning tools can scan a target at really rapid speed of around 1,000 ports per second or more. And these tools use operating systems to open a connection to any port on the target machine to detect the number of available services for a given target. So if the port is in a kind of a listening mode, an initial connection handshake will succeed. Otherwise, the port will not be reachable. We also have TCP SYN scanning. So a TCP SYN scan is based on a TCP three-way handshake and is also known as a half open scanning. So here the bad actor does not open a full TCP connection but sends a SYN packet and then waits for a response. So a SYN act response from the target will indicate that the port is in listing mode. So as soon as a SYN act is received, the attacker sends an RST response. 
Then we have UDP scanning. Now this is a process in which we scan for UDP services deployed on the target system. So keep in mind that UDP is a connectionist protocol. So UDP doesn't have any error checking and tends to be very fast. As a result, you may be thinking that it might be harder to probe than TCP. However, we have port scanning tools that are easily available to you that can do this quite fast. So let's have a look at UDP scanning. So one technique which will be addressed is to rely exclusively on ICMP port unreachable responses. So this type of scanning relies on the assumption that any UDP port not associated with a live service will return an ICMP port unreachable response. So a lack of this response is interpreted to a bad actor as an indication of a live service. Now we have a tool called Scapy that can be used to cleverly craft and inject custom packets into a network and Scapy can be used to perform active scans on UDP services. So this is done by sending out an empty UDP packet to destination ports and then identifying the ports that do not respond with an ICMP port and reachable response. So Scapy can also be used to perform TCP stealth scans. So a TCP port stealth scan completes a partial three-way TCP handshake on target ports to identify whether the ports accept connections. So this type of scan is referred to as a stealth scan, a SYN scan, or even a half open scan. So finally, SCAPI can also be used to perform TCP connect scan. So remember that TCP connect scanning is a lot more straightforward than the process of SYN scanning. This is because the TCP connect scanning does not require elevated privileges to generate and inject a raw packet used in SYN scanning. So in this whiteboard session, we address port scanning. Now port scanning can be performed against TCP and UDP ports. So identifying open ports on a target system is a stage that a bad actor has to carry out when understanding and defining the tax service that they have to play with. These open ports correspond to network services running on a system and it's something you want to protect your network against. To test what is open in a network, you could start with a process of port scanning and this can be done with a tool called Scapy.